Well, Rafe was a writer that we were introduced to when we were sort of figuring out the next steps and how to sort of bring this property to market. And Rafe was a special talent and had a real special connection to the property. You know, he had read it, I think, in the time when it was sort of a very personal significance for him. And he had such a command of the material, he just blew us away. And that was that. As soon as, as, soon as we met Rafe, uh, we knew that that was the way forward for the project. When I first heard about Rafe, we started doing Skype meetings to chat about things. Those early conversations, we weren't talking about how to adapt or things like that. It was just me saying, I know how you feel. This is overwhelming. I feel like I'm the only person who really can feel maybe what Rafe is feeling. And he's the only one that can feel a little bit of what I felt because both of us have been handed the wheel of time and told it's yours now for a while. Treat it with respect. It was very important to me that the people in charge of this story in its transition to film would love the books. I am delighted that Rafe does have a passion for the books. Because where my reign's going to be long. The books, they're something like 14,000 pages uh, in, these, in these 14 books, and it's a very sort of intimidating proposition, immersing yourself in the wheel of time. And so when I saw what Rafe did in really just sort of focusing the narrative and, and highlighting the characters, the story came alive for me in a way that it hadn't uh, even just reading the books for the first time. I think he has an extraordinarily powerful ability to take that amount of story and turn it into a series, all with uh, you know, just think about the amount of pressure that is on that one person. Because it's a bizarre system if you think about it. We're going to take an idea for a series, we're going to write like, X amount of seasons of this and basically place all that responsibility on one individual's shoulders. That is huge. And then think about the investment that's behind that. I lie awake at night wondering if I got it wrong all the time because I think if you're not doing that, then you've gotten arrogant and you're not doing the job. And the job is to take these books that everyone loves and that I love, luckily, and make them into something that delivers on the heart of what's there. Because if I make just a literal interpretation of the books where they're just saying the lines that are on the page and we deliver them to screen, it will not feel right to the audience. It will not feel like the books they love because it's a very different medium. And so to bring it to screen, and make people feel like they're seeing the thing that they read and that they loved. We have to change things. And so I think that's the balance that I'm always lying awake at night thinking about is when are the right times to change things and when are the right times to keep things the same in order to tell the truest version of what's on the page. What I wrote couldn't be the same as what Robert Jordan was going to write. No one can do what Robert Jordan did. He was a unique individual. In the hands of someone else like Rafe, it needs to become its own thing. Sometimes those moments are really, really exciting on set where you are in 2,000 meetings about every stitch and every costume and every hair design and every piece of makeup and the actors. We've just agonized over who each character will be, even people who don't speak. We've gone through hundreds of people to find them. And so then to walk on set and see it all come together and reveal the Aes Sedai, it was really exciting. Yesterday, when I walked onto set, Wayne was doing this beautiful shot that came around and revealed Leandrin for the first time as she walks up and stands next to the three other red Aes Sedai. And I was just geeking out behind the camera. I was like, oh my god. It's, it's the Red Sisters, and they look just as bitchy as they are in the books. Like, this is great, and they, they feel right. To be able to watch episodes back to back and feel like the heart of this book series was alive made me feel like all of these many, many, many sleepless nights have been worthwhile. Oh, Hello. Oh. I don't care about the show. I just want a good blooper reel. I want to learn science. science. <laughs> you guys are going to make me look like I'm in the show, right? You're going to put in the effects. Replace the green. I don't want to look like an asshole here. Sorry. <laughs>